Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends, and another round of legendary testing! This time we're going to be testing Birdcore! W wait a minute, didn't we test him before? Yeah, we did, actually. I'm going with a different spec with him this time, and we'll go over it once we have his turn coming up, because I really wasn't very happy with him the first time around. So I'm going to test this one. I do have two of them, and both of them cannot live. One must die so the other can get stronger. So we're going to test a little bit of a different combo for him and see how that works out. And of course, up front, we have Cryoten. Now, I am missing a skill of his. You might see that he has a rather large stem and a rune there. That's for the skill that uh, I don't have. So we're going to have to slum without that until we get to 80. Uh, we'll deal with what he has until then. And finally, we have Keithor on the bottom, ready to play the drums. Hopefully, he's going to beat some guys up. All right, so we're on the Carnival Island, and I think this first encounter with the three waves is actually a good place to start. We did it the last time, and we'll try it this time and see how it works. So let's just go. Okay, so he's starting here now. I put a Strength Ruin on him, too. Uh, not a big one, I think it's a four, um, because it's kind of what he has to be, so I figure I need, needed to put that on him. All right, so I'm going up front with uh, Bestial Charge. That way, if the, um, the AI executes that one, he'll automatically get the extra turn, right? So then I'm going with just the basic pure rage. Very big old hit, two-round cooldown, right? Then... We have Bestial Hits. Insane Special Damage, Chance of Stunning, 3-round cooldown, right? And then over here, I'm throwing in Healing Flesh, does Heavy Earth Damage, heals himself by 25%. So what's missing? The buff is missing. The one that gives him triple damage, but makes him blind. There's some argument for holding on to that one, because, you know, if you just held on to it, and only used it when your special came up, then it would be devastating. So I might be trying to lay off of that last skill to see how that works. In other words, I might end up taking the buff, but only using it when the special comes up. But I want to see whether or not he can function without with the first three skills. That's kind of what I'm looking for. All right, so anyway, um, he's going first, and I see he's going to kill this one. And then I see he's going to kill this one. All right. Okay. Look what we got here. Heals all allies. Roofs. Okay. Yeah. Order. I don't know. Maybe I should change the order here. Oh, okay. You're not. That won't kill you, though. So that seems like a complete waste. Let's see. Very hard damage to one. Removes positive status effects. Not really what I want to do right now. Moderate dark damage to one heals a lot. He does a lot of healing, doesn't he? All right, I guess we're going to do this one because it's a zero cooldown. Okay, he doesn't get to unleash his real stuff, though. And I am going to have to decide. I guess this one's going to be coming out. It's fortuitous that I left it there. Uh, in this case, I might as well just use this because I think it's his least complex one. That one there has got the Mega Freeze and uh, a lot of stamina use and a four-round cooldown. I'm not using that. That one, no reason to use that now, really. Absolutely no reason. Nope, nope, nope. So, yeah, I think we're just going to uh, gonna do this. It was good because it was a zero-round cooldown. But like I said, that's probably the one that's coming out. All right, and uh, he is going to start having a little bit of a problem with stamina. Okay, you're not blind. Don't do that. Okay, now in this case, I think he does have something. Not this one. He doesn't have any group ones, right? Okay, so he doesn't have anything group. Don't need to do healing now. All right, so we're going to use this one again because, like I said, it's a zero on cooldown. Okay, Entropic Death of Universe. Sure. Although, I might have wanted to actually use it against the Scorch Peg, because I guess the Scorch Peg is actually a boss. Okay, no one insta-died, but they do have Reaper on. Okay, that was just mean. All he did was uh, basically kill you in a couple of rounds. Okay, um, 
I can use this one, but I think it would probably be a better idea to charge. All right, and uh, the drummer's purge. Oh, do we have bad stuff on us? No, we don't. They have bad stuff on them. Are we even hurt? I mean, we could do that, but I think a better idea would be to hit one and heal ourselves, right? Yeah, that will do it. All right, so finish this one off. We get a heal, because two of us were hurt. And then, boom on the head. Actually, why don't we... Do I want to save this one for the big one? Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? All right, so I'm just going to bump him on the head then. Isn't that cute? He doesn't realize he's going to be dead in a round one way or another. All right, we'll use this combo. Well, combo not required. Although I think... Is he going to go again immediately? Oh! Whatever will we do? All right, boom. All right, and then let's see. Okay, I guess we're just going to do this one. This one is basically the out right here when you got nothing else, just especially if it's one target. Now, of course, we get to see this one. Uh, deals heavy water damage to one enemy, applies mega freeze to one enemy. Target will die after three turns. Boom. All right, so he's got Reaper on. He's got mega freeze on. He's going to get one round to act before he dies, assuming he doesn't die before then. Okay, bestial hits. All right, and let's see. Oh, I guess you're just going to do this. I'm going to have to look at his skills. Um, boom on the head. I don't know. Without that skill, that's kind of a problem. All right, um, charge. Yeah, I know I could be using that skill, but I have the choice of either using that one and violating what I was saying, what I want to try to do is stay away from using that skill. But even if he used it, I'd have to charge anyway the next turn. And But I'd rather have full stamina so I can get the combo going again. You know what I mean? All right, um, maybe I might want to consider stamina on him. I might want to consider stamina on him. All right. Um, you don't have anything. All right. You, um, since it doesn't really matter at this point, why don't... Well, wait a second. Let's see. Because I think you're dead anyway. I think you're going to die anyway. It doesn't really matter. Actually, why don't we just fill up your stamina bar? Hold on. Because why not? And, uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't we just do this, because it looks cool, I guess. Alright, so he got a big old shield, and he get, he's got a lot of health now. Of course, when he's 100, he'll have a lot more health. And, of course, he just dropped dead. Because he didn't really need to do anything, did he? Okay, that's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, so let's, uh, move on to something a little more challenging. Um, I'm think. Let me think. Do I want to skip to what have we got here? We got waves. Didn't I do that? Th did I do? Oh, we got three waves. Oh, yeah, this island. Um, I don't want to do three waves. So let's let's find something. I want to find something kind of challenging. If I could find one group that's really hard, well, we could try that. We'll do this, and then we'll start moving on to eighty. All right, because I don't really see the purpose of giving them like one easy group or even a hard group at this point. So we'll just we'll just see. I, I'm so far. I'm really. I want to take another look at Keith or skills because so far it's kind of like he's not really doing a lot. Okay, he's stunned, but I think I could actually kill. No, I can't kill him. So I might as well hit somebody else. All right. Um, yeah, what do we got here? We got the heal, which is good, but then we got this one, which is actually a similar thing, and you can use it every two rounds. I guess that's basically just who he is. One, remove pot. So this one is only really for um, if you have, if they have stuff on them, you know, which is really good. It's just that basically it's this over and over again, isn't it? Ugh. 
Leave Keith R alone. All right. Um. Do I want to get? I I think we want. I want to save his good stuff for the next round. So I'm just gonna bump on the head. All right, and you. You are now dead. Bad frog. Okay, you have poison on, so you actually can do something here. And that's this, and then remove negative status effects. Then I will have you heal yourself. And you just went ahead and did that. Well, you are an evil frog. Uh, by the way, um, yeah, bump on the head. Okay, don't miss the frog. Don't miss the frog. All right, you're going to... See, if I was to use this... Let's just test this. If I was to use this here... Right. I didn't charge there that time. I didn't charge there that time. All right, drummer's purge. All right, we're going to do that so he can get some health back and get rid of the poison. Okay, don't mess with him. Okay, bump on the head, and you're dead. Okay, next wave. Alrighty, let's see. See, now the, now the thing is here is that if I do this combo, I'm not going to be able to do the second attack. You know, I'm not going to be able to do the second attack because he won't have the stamina. So what I really do need to do is to do the first two rounds, this and then this, and then the next round do the either one of the other two, assuming I have both of them. But I'm really do the third one, right? And then he needs the charge. Because the thing about it is, like, I just used the other one now, the healing flush, instead of charging. But that means I can do this one here in the front, but I'm not going to have the stamina to do anything else, so the extra turn is kind of a waste of time. So I am actually going to have to charge here, I believe. It's either I charge before that or after that, but I get the combo more if I do that instead of the other one. All right, what do you, okay, you get to... Um, yeah, do some healing. Oh, these guys roll darkness. You're going to be doing less bad, less stuff than normal then, right? All right, now let's take care of... We'll have you die. You missed him! Okay, I mean... You, you Oh, no, that's not good. You seem to be missing a lot, dude. Just saying. Okay. Oh, Reaper! Oh, that's not good. Unfortunately, fortunately, he can remove... Okay, for, look, get rid of some of these guys for me, please. Okay, hit him on the head. Okay. See, now that's a situation where I just might want to pull that one out. All right, let's see. Why not? Because it'll have them have quicksands and, an, I believe, bleeding as well, so... But I mean, the thing about it is, this is the only reason why you, uh, why I would consider the buff, because that's obviously going to wipe a team if you have the buff going. So, all right, let's see. Um, this. Did he get rid of Reaper? I believe he did. Oh boy, dudes, sucks to be you. Okay, so let's see. Does he have? And none of them are dead. Isn't it a 50% chance to kill one of them outright? I mean, he's 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 pulling um he's pulling uh noctum type percentages here. I mean, he's done that twice. The first time it was against two and now he's done it against three and he hasn't killed any of them. It's supposed to be 50% for a normal creature, and then 20% for a, um, a boss, I believe, isn't it? Oh, you need, you actually do need healing flesh here. Alright, and you can't do anything because you're out of stamina. And, uh, bump on the head. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little bit of issue with Keithor, so... Um, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to look at them now. Obviously, the first one I want to take care of is the one that I know is incomplete at the moment. And where he's hiding up here with Santa Claus. 
Okay, so you can see I did put a big old uh, stamina rune on him, and he now has 280 stamina. Apparently he needs it. So let's uh, start feeding him. I'm hoping what I'm looking for shows up pretty quickly here so we can get this done. Okay, that is not the one I'm looking for. Nope, nope, nope. Now I'm getting pretty, pretty bad luck with this here. I hope it shows up, right? Okay, no, not there. Wow, this is like amazing. Because it's not even the top skill there. Okay. I'm growing concern. Yes, I'm growing concern. All right, let's just keep going here and really hope against hope that... All right, this is a big problem. All right, so let's, let's just take a quick moment here and take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, it's not popping up because it's not the top one, right? All right, it's right here. All right, so this is the one that has not come up for me and you can see applies mega freeze to all enemies but it costs 250 stamina and has a six round cooldown but that will freeze the other side for two full rounds now the other skill he has the one that you know gives him an extra turn and returns some stamina that one could actually really help after using this one so it's not really as much six if you do it that way, it's probably more of five. But I mean, this gives your team the opportunity to do some killing. It's just that it's, I'm 80th level and it hasn't shown up yet. So that's a big deal. So you have to imagine that I would probably lead off fights with it. It's just, um, I hope in the end that I'm not going to have to buy this. I mean, this would be ridiculous if I got all the way to 100 and this never popped up. See, I'm a little concerned because it's not the top one. I mean, we've been getting this one. We've been getting this one, right? But I haven't gotten that one one single time. Little concerned about that. Little concerned about that. But we're gonna have to do another um, another round without having it. Yep, another round without having it. All right. So let's uh, take a look at this guy for a moment now. This, of course, is the one here. Let's, Let's, let's look at the other guy for a moment. This is the guy that I previously tested with, right? This is the guy I previously tested with. All right. Bloodthirsty is the one that is the problem, in my opinion. Now, if I forego healing flesh and throw bloodthirsty at the end and just use a rotation of the first three and pull bloodthirsty out only if the special skill bestial whirlwind comes up, that's what I'm thinking. So I think if it comes up, I'm going to swap it in for that one. And it will just sit there waiting for a situation. And I really wish they would fix that they come back after they vanish thing. Because it's really getting irritating at this point. Because I want him to be there, you know? All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to feed up. And if that one shows up, I'm going to put it in for the healing one. Right. Okay, so here's the thing. If I use the first two in the first attack and then follow up with the, the third one, Bestial Hits, in the third attack, by the way, that looks like a capital I. Just thought I'd mention that. I would either have to use this one and then charge afterwards or charge instead of doing that one. That's the way I'm seeing it. So I think that if I just ignore Bloodthirsty and use it only when his special comes up, I think that's a better solution. So I'm hoping that the special does come up. So I'm basically just going to use the first three attacks on a normal basis. Unless, of course, maybe he ended up with uh, precision or something like that. But none of the guys he has right now actually give precision. All right, so that's what I think I'm going to go with. And, um, oh, actually, I need to level him up a little more, don't I? Yes, I do. But I do think that that's actually it. So it's probably going to buzz my chops for that one again. And like, no, it may even ask me for the one for regeneration. And no, that's the regenerating flesh. And... All right. Healing flesh. Okay, so no. All right, so now he's ready to go. He's ready to go. All right, so the last one is Keithor. Keithor is so far the one I am... 
he's not a damage dealer, obviously. He's over here. I, no, 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 no. I put him with uh, his, his mate. I put him with his mate up here. Yeah, he's the band member, right? Okay. Uh, we're just going to go through skills and see what happens. Basically, so far, mostly he's one skill for me. One applies 100% shield to all allies. I've used that one. It's useful. That one is um, root positive status effects from enemies. That's 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 kind of useful. And this is an attack that heals. See, I only have two attacks. If I was to put this new one in here, smells like protection, then I would only have this one single attack, which is a good attack, I suppose. Uh, I guess it really depends. Removing positive status effects. Actually, probably three attacks. I'm, I'm wrong. I have three attacks. Would I rather have this or would I rather have the shield? I already have a heal up here. And it's a one-round cooldown. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to put the shield in. I think I'm going to put the shield in. Because, I mean, this one is a zero cooldown. I can use this one as much as I want. And this one here... I can use that to, to purge stuff off of the other guys. So, I mean, I'm not really using this one anyway. And this one over here has got the same heal. It's got a heal and a remove negative stats. It's got a one-round cooldown. I use it every other round. Every two, once every two. Yeah, once every two rounds or something like that. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the shield in. Because I know from personal experience, shields are just really annoying. Really annoying. All right, so we're done with that. So we're just going to... No, thank you. Put this in. No, no, no. And we are done. All right. So what I'm going to do now, we've leveled up our guys. I'm going to go find us a fight, and then we're going to go fight it. All right. So we're just going to throw these guys into the fire and see how they do. Okay. So these guys are 84 and light okay so actually keith Moore might work out pretty good with that so let's see what we got here all right we still don't have that big skill for the big guy so i really hope it shows up you know and that would be really bad if it doesn't i've heard of such things happening i hope that's not one of these situations all right and we're just going to start with this and then we're just going to do i need to abuse that one that's insane damage. That's actually more, I believe, right? All right, so we'll just finish this guy off. Okay, I'm just going to sit on Bloodthirsty and wait until... Uh, do we have one round or two rounds here? Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a new... I'm going to use this. I'm going to do this. Uh, no, there's a big shield. Nope, nope, there's a big shield. Mind you, they got most of that shield, but uh, by the way, you can have fun with this. Yes, I would have been a little upset if you missed him again, just saying. Um, oh, and you? Okay, and uh, let me think. Well, you can actually finish him off, can't you? All right, and bump on the head. And uh, charge. And again, we go bump on the head. You're probably, you're dead. Nope, not yet. And you've just lost a Mega Freeze. And let's see. Doubles. Give stamina. Eh, just hit him in the head. Okay, very effective, very effective. Not the best, but then again, they were a couple levels higher. All right, so that worked out good. Let's see what we have up here. What's up here? Okay, 86, but they're more light guys. I don't want to give an advantage here. Let's see. Uh, oh, I got two rounds. Okay, oh, they're all light. 
Actually, yeah, probably the whole island is light. But you know, there are two rounds and they're 86, so I think that's going to be all right. Let's just do that. It's not like they have a lot of group attacks, you know, or anything like that. Actually, they don't really have any group attacks. They have to kill one at a time, so it's not going to be easy for them to get a good score, you know. All right, you... Can I kill him? In that case, you know, since he's stunned, I really should go after somebody else. That's what I'm thinking. You know, the first guy is stunned. There's no re... Jamming on the ceiling. What do we got here? Applies full shield. Oh, okay, why don't you hold on to that one in case we get in trouble. Um, bump on the head in the back. I might have want to consider shielding. Yeah, now I'm thinking now that might have been a good idea. Yep, shielding probably would have been good. All right. Um, you were dead. Ouch. Okay, this. Uh, do I want to save that? I think I want to save that for the second round. We're going to save that for the second round. Okay, uh, this is. Um. It won't purge stat negative status effects, though. Let's see. This one will heal and remove all negative status effects. So we'll do that. Okay, you're doing that again. That's very annoying. Just saying. By the way, die. Okay, um, he's going... Hey, why can't I have that healing one back now? All right, just charge. Okay, fine. Because the thing is, the burning will be taken up by the shield anyway. Um, no. And... Bump on the head... And serious bump on the head. Followed by yet another bump on the head. The final bump. Don't worry, his time is coming. Yeah. Bloodthirsty! And then we do this. And then I think they they all die. He didn't miss any of them. All right. I think that that is the use for the buff. I honestly do. I think that's the use for the buff. And I think that's kind of the spec that I would go with. That was actually the record for that location, too. I, and I'm pretty sure it was him who actually just did that for us there. By just insta-killing everybody there. So, all right, so that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so you know what I'm going to do now? Um, we're going to go on, I'm going to level them up to, uh, um, I'm going to level them up to 100. Now, the other ones, I think pretty much we got the stuff. We're just going to sit back and watch here. Normally, I would just skip over this. I'm going to skip over the other ones. But I'm really a little bit concerned here. I'm honestly really a bit concerned here. Uh, mostly because I don't actually have 20 gems to actually switch out that skill. So I'm really hoping that it shows up. Yeah, I'm getting a little concerned. All right, um... Yeah, um... I, I don't know what the heck is wrong. I've never seen this before, and I have just two chances left. So, I, I don't know what's wrong. Hallelujah. All right, there we go. Now, this one here is his little uh, buff, his self buff, right? This one here is going to be critical after using the new one, right? Because that's going to give him stamina back, considering how much stamina I'm going to give him in the end, right? And this, of course, is his second skill, which is kind of awesome. All right, so this is the one. We're going to be taking this one out. It's a good skill, but it's not better than this. And thank goodness it showed up. Whew. All right, just to top him off, because apparently he's not coming back, it's a bug thing. And no. 
All right, thank goodness we got that. Now, I'm just going to level up the other two because I'm quite happy with what they have. Not overly happy with Kithor, but I think the shield is probably a better idea. And um, when I have them leveled up and when we, um, when we have a location to do business, we will be back. All right, I thought we'd start here. So let's start here. All right, so they're all 100. Um, they turn out to be kind of meaty, too, really, in the end. So let's, uh, let's uh, teach these little pipsqueaks a lesson. Okay, and a lesson in pain. Followed by death. Why don't we just, yeah, let me just really let him have it here. Okay, so... Yeah, you know what? Just finish this guy off. Okay, so here we're going to use this one. All right, now that cleaned him out of a lot of his stamina. But, uh, okay, and we'll to do this because they're not going to do anything about it. And he's going to hit this guy because he can't do anything about it. All right, and uh, this one here. Now, using he's, he's starting, he's got 30 stamina to start with, so this is going to give him an extra 70, which means, well, we're going to ignore that for a moment, which means he can come back with this if he wanted to. But, of course, there's not really much reason of doing that. Um, they're both still frozen. I mean, using this one would be kind of silly. So why don't we just have him like, be really big and cool? And uh, we're not doing that. And we're going to do this, and boom, you're dead. And uh, we'll just, no reason to do anything, actually. It's pretty much over at this point, isn't it? Boom. Followed by, boom. Like I said, no real group attacks other than the big freeze now. But um, they get the job done. They get the job done. All right. And uh, let's see. Maybe we can find some. What about this? What is this? Just 100. They're metal, though. Um, I'd like to start turning the levels up a little bit. You know, I'd like to start turning the levels up a bit. What do we have over here? 103. Lords of Atlantis. Interesting. There'd be a whole lot of... That's, that sounds like a very tedious fight. Let's do it. All right, let's go. And he's going to do this. The one thing about uh, Crowd 10, he's going to start falling back. He's falling back now in terms of his... Uh, in terms of speed. It takes him a while to get in there now. They just don't have any AI regarding that, do they? No, they don't. All right, well, you know what? Even though that's actually not going to be necessary at all, and I don't know why I did that, because, well, they're going to be doing this for a while. And he's going to just finish this guy in the front off. This would be an excellent time for a bestial whirlwind, just saying. All right, and... Bump on the head. Okay, and you're going to do this to get some stamina back. How much damage are you going to do? All right, why don't you just hold on to that for a round? All right, and uh, you're going to charge as well. All right, and uh, what do we have here? This one here? Who hasn't been hit for a while? You. Let's try to keep it a little even here. Okay, so why don't we put a, a Mega Freeze back on you? And 
And then you get to go back into fun mode. Okay, who do you want to finish? Hit one, kill the other, right? And boom on the head. They're not quick with the killing, but they're efficient, right? They're efficient. All right, so let's see about giving them something a little more challenging. Can we find something maybe in the middle here? What is this? Something we've done before? Greedy dragons and a pandolf? Okay, we'll do that. We'll, 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 for the last one, we'll try something with waves, but uh, we'll just do this one for now. Okay. All right, and now what are you going to do? Okay, it's our turn now, right? It's our turn? You're sure it's our turn now, right? Okay, dude, don't miss. You I was making this big thing here, you know, and you just you just kind of messed it up. You know? You just kind of messed it up. You guys really, you know, you just got to need to chill, man. Chill. Yes, yeah, speed's a bit of an issue with him if you're going to call him as some kind of denial, though. He's just falling back on the other two. The other guys don't have speed at all, but he seems to be the last one going all the time. So, I mean, he's not really fast to begin with, so putting stuff on him just isn't going to make it better, you know? All right, and uh, let's just get rid of him. All right, and uh, this. Okay, you're both frozen for one more round, so why don't we just charge? Okay, we're not getting any frozen sounds here. All right, and you need to charge. And let me think. We still got shields up, no big deal. So why don't we just hit one of them? And then why don't you just freeze the other one? And add a little death on top. I don't think you understand this golden rule thing. Just saying. Do you understand death, though? Do you? Do you understand death? All right, and just bump him on the head. And, uh, what was this one? Oh, that's just, eh, just let him sit on that for a while. Let's face it, it's kind of, it's pretty much over, so it doesn't really matter at this point. A little bit of healing, though, on the other guy. Okay, is that going to be dead? Yep, that's it. If we'd gone one more round, I would have had Keithor do some healing. But, uh, yeah, they, they take their time. They do it, but they take their time, right? All right, so what we're going to do, Al, we'll find something. Maybe we could find something over here that's got waves and might be... Okay. Probably asking too much, but you never know. I mean, this is not a, a team that actually does um, lots of group stuff, you know what I mean? So... The second round could be a very challenging one. Let's just see how it works out. The thing about it is our denial is list the last one at the top. So everyone is going before him. Oh, that was a lot of damage, actually. You just took half his health off. Um, and he's going to uh, return the favor. Okay, well, you're actually stunned, so there's no reason to do... It won't kill him. That's the thing. Well, you know what? We'll kill him. Yeah, you know what? Just do that. All right. Now what we're going to do is just a little bit of protection here. Keith always travels with protection. Oh, denied. And, oh. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that next round. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, she's like, no, no, no. Mother is always watching. Um. He's not her mother, you know. She's not his mother, right? Um, let's see. Out there, it's they're both darkness. All right, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're not doing anything because you're frozen, right? Okay, first things first. And I think we do this first. Another mega. Wow, you just don't want those mega freezes, do you? Okay, I think Crowton's got some kind of like a a mommy complex where he just can't hit her. Maybe he remi she reminds him of his mommy. All right, that's uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. I'm gonna need you other guys to actually take care of this because apparently the big guy is soft on her. She looks just like my mommy does. Um. Yeah, actually, why don't we do this? Okay, one inch. We finally got an insta kill. We finally got an insta kill. No, no, no. Okay, he's in a lot of trouble, actually. He's in a lot of trouble, actually. Yeah, um. Okay. Oh, man, you know what? If I do that, he's gonna. I think I'm just gonna do one attack because it's two attacks might kill him. All right, just hit her, hit her really hard. Because I think two turns would kill him. So why don't we just very quickly do that? And, uh, okay, no, nothing here. Uh-oh. Okay, she really just wants to teach him a lesson. Okay, wow. Um... Okay, he doesn't have any problems finishing her off. Oh, no, oh, does he, is he, he's not going to live through this. Yeah, they went right after him. Dad went over and said, you can't touch my wife. Okay, so it's these two guys now. Um, that's actually really, really bad. Um, <laughs> we don't have any damage now. We don't have any damage now. Um, he, he, stamina, lots of stamina, because I need the freeze. Oh, that very fortuitous miss. Um, that sounds like a plan. I mean, even if I get the free, even if I get the freeze down... Uh, you know, we we can't kill them because our damage just got killed. Oh, next turn. <sighs> okay, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. Uh, he's gonna have to charge too. All right, he's gonna have to charge. You can't stun a mountain. The mountain stuns you, or freezes you. Okay, he didn't get the crazy teddy bear. That's not good. This is going to take forever, if we could even do it. Um, group performance. They don't have anything good on them, so there's no purpose in doing that. So we're just going to do this. All right, let's get rid of him in the front first, if at all possible. Oh, the shield's down. Not good. Oh, his stamina's all gone. Oh, okay, we got maybe an out here. Okay, the teddy bear is gone. This is good because that's not the one I was beating on. All right. Um, can he fit? He can hit that guy. All 
Uh, I really, really want to get rid of somebody. Um, that one, they don't have any positive ones on them. Matter of fact, I think the guy in the front is dying. How, how, how much until he's dead? Two turns? All right. Okay, sorry about that. Let's concentrate on the, uh, the guy in the back, then. Santa's most bizarre elf. Okay, you got one more swing, and then you're done. All right, why don't we do this? You didn't get stamina back. Or, I don't understand that. Okay, I, I don't know. I guess he's charging. Um, he's charging. You should be dropped dead now. You should drop dead now. There you go. Okay, and you get this. Are you kidding me? Okay, we need a heal. Um, actually, I think the shield's probably a better idea. Because we just have to stay alive at this point. And, uh, yeah, well, you know what? That'll do it. All right, and why don't we... Oh, he's... Yeah, throw a heal on there, too. As long as we're alive when he's dead, that's all that matters. Flirty don't want to work. Does Flirty want to die? Boom! Okay, trickery! Trickery and not uh, damage won the day. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, the Minotaur had to go. All right, so I think that's going to be it for now. All right, let's just walk in here and uh, take a quick look. Okay, I think the spec works for the dude up above better. Going with the three in the front and just saving Bloodthirsty in case his special skill comes up. I mean, he does have to charge after the sec you know, in the third round, but it was either that or charge in the fourth round, and then he misses a combo, you know what I mean? So otherwise, I mean, if he doesn't charge... Um, in the third round and he puts it off that means he might be able to attack with the first one But then won't be able to lose the second turn So I think that's probably the way I'm gonna kill with him So I'm probably going to take the other one apart and put it into him because I don't want to have to mess with the other guy's spec This guy's got what I want right now um, Kithor Kithor is support Kithor is very very supporty. He's got the shields. He's got the healing. He's got the purging of the positive stats effects He's got one good hit, and I spent most of my time doing that. If you need support on the dark side, he'll probably do it. But, you know, you'd really have to have two damage dealers, I'm guessing, with him. In this case, we had one, we had single target damage. It would work better if you had one guy who was doing either denial or group damage stuff. He might work good with, like, Biddy or something like that, I'm thinking. You know, maybe or Cavenfish, and then throw somebody... Uh, and the uh, else who does more group damage, maybe like uh, um, you know other things like Ghidorah or something like that. Somebody who does dots or something, you know that would be rather good. Now the dude in the front, the dude in the front has got the awesome epic um, mega freeze. He's got the epic mega freeze, and then he's got the for the next round he's got the skill that will let him uh, uh, get enough stamina back to use his second one with the mega freeze. I guess in case he somebody missed. He did occasionally miss individuals with, um, with the Mega Freeze, so it's not a bad follow-up. It's not a bad follow-up to have. But otherwise, you can probably just buff him or sit there, or maybe if you wanted to go back to the uh, Taunt. Well, actually, the Taunt wouldn't do much good. If the whole group is Mega Frozen, then really you can just have him charge and be ready for the next round, you know, that kind of thing. But you really have to have damage to back it up. Once we lost the guy on top, we had problems. Um, it was a slower fight, and we did win in the end. Basically, like I said, trickery. The Reaper really helps. The Reaper really does help. But uh, anyway, they're pretty good. They're going to be available now for um, for the uh, the PvP fights of 500. And uh, I might be able to throw another team together and again in the near future. I might do some other thing. I've been thinking about doing something else. I might end up doing that, but when I get a little bit of time.
So anyway, we got some more testing in there. These guys are done. They're in available. Uh, I'm going to trash the other Minotaur, and I'm going to boost this guy up. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.